Hey there, everybody. Good morning time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and uh, we are continuing our Thanksgiving week festivities this week. As you can see, little different digs than usual. We are on the road visiting with our uh, daughter's family. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I was saying I was visiting with my daughter, but she's not here. And her husband's not here, but the grandchildren are here, so that works for me. And uh, at any rate, it's a nice, quiet morning this morning. Construction's coming later today, though. I was telling you yesterday. Hey, Joe, good morning. Telling you yesterday about my little project, putting tile up in the kitchen. I'll have some pictures up. I've been taking pictures along the way. I'll have some up on... Uh, I think I'll put them on Instagram. I won't put them on Facebook till I'm done, but uh, check Instagram for the progress pictures there. Hey, look, if you are watching live or on the replay, I'd love to know that. Please leave me a comment down below. Just say hi, like Joe did, and uh, let me know that you're here. That'll also get you set up so that Facebook will do its thing and notify you as the comments roll up. So this week we've been talking about Maybe some unconventional things to be thankful for leading up to Thanksgiving. And look, I want to make, remake a point that I made yesterday, right? Thanksgiving is not the only day we should be thankful. You should begin every day with um, an attitude of gratitude, right? And I mean, I've showed you before, look, I actually have it here this morning. Here's my journal. Very first line, every day, today I am grateful for. I write something about that, and then today I intend to. That's my intend to today. Right? And then go on with the rest of what I write. Begin every day with this attitude of gratitude. That be, it, it starts your thinking outward focused rather than inward focused. Impossible to be selfish when you are being grateful. However, Thanksgiving. Here's how I want you to use Thanksgiving this week. <clears throat> this year. It's an opportunity for families to get together, whether you do it Thursday or Saturday or, you know, whenever. Encourage the other people in your family or in the group that you gather with to be grateful every day. Tell them your story about how you are grateful every day and the difference that that has made for you. And if it hasn't made a difference for you, it's because you're not doing it yet. Get on that. All right. <clears throat> so that kind of leads into the topic for today. And so the things I've been talking about each week are maybe some, as we get to Thanksgiving and, and kind of the, the scheduled time of year to take a step back and look at it from a macro sense, here are some things to think about that are kind of unconventional. Today, probably more conventional. The four F's, the four F's, right? Friends, fans, followers, and family. Friends, fans, followers, and family. So you talk about the three F's in internet marketing all the time. Friends, fans, and followers. That's your monetizable audience. But I throw family in here in this respect. Friends, family, followers, and family. These are your supporters. They are the people who show up every day, like Joe and Keith and a few others. Show up every day. They say hi. They give you words of encouragement. The, these are the people that you do this for, whatever this is that you're doing. Right? I tell you all the time, our job is to solve problems for other people at a profit. Well, these four F's define the other people for you. And what a lot of people get wrapped up in is trying to make uh, a product, a service, a solution that fits everybody. And <clears throat> the problem with that is, I mean, that's a great goal, but the problem with that is that you can't solve everybody's problem. But there is a specific group of people that you can help, your friends, fans, followers, and family. So focus on the four F's. Focus on the four F's. Good morning, Joanna. If you can create a solution for those four groups of people, then the rest of the people are not your audience or your customers or your clients. Don't worry about them. Somebody else has them taken care of. You focus 
on those four. So be thankful for those four today or, or um, this week and, and think about that. And remember, as we are getting ready to um, be in groups, right? I want you to, and, and look, if you would share information about me, how they can come and watch these videos, that would be fantastic. I would be very grateful for that. However, that's not what I'm asking you to do. What I really want you to do is just talk to them. Just tell them a story. What has gratitude, what has an attitude of gratitude done to change your results this year since the last time you saw a lot of these folks? Right? And what it, does it help you? Is it a pain in the butt? Does it, is it a challenge? What change has it made? Good or bad? Really doesn't matter. Talk to them, the people that you're around about an attitude of gratitude. Just share that with them. Because even if you don't do it, sharing that with them might plant the seed in someone else's mind and they'll start doing it. I really want you to do it. That's why I encourage you to do it all the time. All right, short show again today. Hey, listen, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of the week off from videos so that... um I can spoil the grandkids a little bit more. Keith was saying yesterday, yeah, thanks, Joanna. Uh, Keith was saying yesterday I should work on spoiling the grands. Look, I am a mere amateur compared to their grandma, <laughs> to their nan. She's much better at it than I am, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I'll post some things here for you, uh, some articles or comments, whatnot. I'm going to take the rest of the week off from videos. We're traveling over the weekend, so we'll be back in my office, whiteboard, sticky notes and all, on Monday. You guys have a great Thanksgiving, a great weekend. Uh, message me if you want to. I'll still have the phone on. And when I finish the tile project, I'll put pictures up on Facebook. And check out Instagram, at Tom Rigsby. See those in-progress shots. I will talk to you again on Monday. And uh, be on the lookout for other stuff. Y'all have a great Thanksgiving. Talk to you soon.